Alvy. Hi, Dwayne. How's it going? This is my room. Oh, yeah. It's terrific. <clears throat> Can I confess something? I tell you this because, as an artist, I think you'll understand. Sometimes, when I'm driving on the road at night, I see two headlights coming toward me. Fast, I have this sudden impulse to turn the wheel quickly, head on into the oncoming car. I can anticipate the explosion, the sound of shattering glass, the flames rising out of the flowing gasoline. Yeah, she's great looking, great. Little tad on the androgynous side, but dynamite. Yeah, I, I forgot my mantra. She had moved back to New York. She was living in Soho with some guy. And when I met her, she was, of all things, dragging him in to see the sorrow and the pity, which I counted as a personal triumph. I don't know. I just got, I got very I'm dizzy. Dolores. I feel dizzy, man. Well, sit down. I think there are more people here to see the Maharishi than there were to see the Dylan concert. I covered the Dylan concert, which gave me chills, especially when he sang. She takes just like a woman, and she makes love just like a woman. Yes, she does, and she. Aches just like a woman, but she breaks just like a little girl. Up to that, I guess the most charismatic event I covered was Mick's birthday when the Stones played Madison Square Garden. No, that's great. That's just great. You catch Dylan? <coughs> Me? No, no, I, I couldn't make it. That my, my my raccoon had hepatitis. You have a raccoon? A few. The only word for this is transplendent. It's transplendent. I can think of another word. He's God. I mean, this man is God. He's got millions of followers who would crawl all the way across the world just to touch the hem of his garment. Yeah, it must be a tremendous hem. I'm a Rosicrucian myself. Are you? Yeah. I can't get with any religion that advertises in popular mechanics. Look, there's God coming out of the men's room. It's unbelievably transplendent. I was at the Stones concert in Altamont when they killed that guy, remember? Yeah, were you? I was, I was at an Alice Cooper thing where six people were rushed to the hospital with bad vibes. I hope you don't mind that I took so long to finish. <sighs> no, don't be, don't be silly. You know, I, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to get some feeling back in my jaw now. Well, sex with you is really a Kafkaesque experience. Oh, thank you. <laughs> When do I go on? Who are you? I'll be singer. I'm a comedian. Oh, com yeah. Oh, uh, you're on next? What do you mean next? I mean, you're on right after this act. No, it can't be because he's a comic. Yes. So what are you telling me? You're putting on two comics in a row? Why not? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to. I can't. I don't want to go on after another comedian. It's okay. No, because they're, they're laughing, so I, I, I'd rather not. If you Will don't you mind, relax, I prefer... please? They're going to love you, I, I know. I'd prefer not to, because, look, they're laughing at him, see? So what yes. are you telling me, that I've got... They're going to laugh at him for a couple of minutes, and i got to go out there, i got to get oh, laughs, too? How much can they laugh? They're, they're laughed out. Do you feel all right? Jesus. <laughs> What's your name? Allison? Yeah. Allison what? Pochnik? Portugal. Nice. Thank you. So, uh, what are you telling me? You work for Stevenson all the time, or what? No, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm in the midst of doing my thesis. On what? A political commitment in 20th century literature. You, you like New York Jewish left wing liberal intellectual Central Park West Brandeis University with the socialist summer camps and the, the father with the Ben Sean drawings, right? And the really, you know, strike oriented kind of. Uh, I'm stop me before I make a complete imbecile of myself. No, that was wonderful. I love being reduced to a cultural stereotype. Right, I'm a bigot, you know, but for the left. Actually, so. 
Say something encouraging quickly. I think you're cute. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I don't know why they would have me at this kind of rally because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not essentially a political comedian at all. I, interestingly, had um, dated a woman in the Eisenhower administration briefly. And it was ironic to me because um, because I was trying to do to her what Eisenhower has been doing to the country for the last <laughs> eight years. Hmm, I'm sorry, I can't go through with this because and I can't get it off my mind, Allison. It's obsessing me. Oh, I'm getting tired of it. I need your attention. It, but it, it doesn't make any sense. He drove past the book depository, and the police said conclusively that it was an exit wound. So how is it possible for Oswald to have fired from two angles at once? It doesn't make sense. Howdy. I'll tell you this. He was not marksman enough to hit a moving target at that range. But <clears throat> if there was a second assassin, it, that's it. We've been through this. It, they, they recovered through the shells from that rifle. Okay. All right, then what are you saying now? That everybody uh, on the Warren Commission is in on this conspiracy, right? Well, why not? Yeah, Earl Warren. Hey, honey, I don't know Earl Warren. Lyndon Johnson. Lyndon, jo Lyndon Johnson is a politician. You know the ethics those guys have. It's like a, a notch underneath child molester. Then everybody's in on the conspiracy. The FBI and the CIA and J. Edgar Hoover and oil companies and the Pentagon and the men's room attendant at the White House. Well, I, I would leave out the...